Broadcasting from Studio 300 on Cal Poly's campus, you're watching Mustang News. Good morning, Mustangs. Today is Tuesday, January 28th. I'm Ashley DeVren, and Mustang News starts now. A small fire broke out in Foothill Gardens apartment complex just before 8 o'clock last night. Junior Marissa Lim was frying chicken when it caught on fire, and the vent went up in flames. Slow police and slow fire responded, and everyone is okay. No word yet on how much damage the apartment suffered. Well, print out your resume and dust off your blazers because it's time for the Winter Career Fair. The Career Fair starts on Wednesday, January 29th at 9.30 a.m. and runs through Thursday. Students will have the opportunity to network with companies to potentially snag a job for the future. Students should come prepared and dressed to impress. Apple, Cis Apple, Cisco, Yelp, and the newcomer Nest are among the few companies offering more than 300 total positions to students. Take a look at the employers coming, and really if the students can know what they're sort of gearing towards and which companies they really want to talk to, they can tailor their resume for that. You can visit Mustang Jobs' website for the complete list of the participating companies. After surviving a plane crash while traveling with the 1960 football team, Cal Poly grad Billy Ross died at age 78. The plane crash killed 16 Cal Poly teammates. Ross spent seven months in a Toledo hospital after the crash while recovering from severe burns. He returned to Cal Poly and graduated in 1963, then became a high school teacher and football coach. Ross died in Bakersfield after suffering from a long-term illness last week. The Cal Poly men's basketball team will hold a moment of silence on Thursday before their game. Cal Poly's College of Agriculture, Food, and Environmental Sciences is looking for a new dean. Former dean David Weiner stepped down from the position last year in order to serve as interim vice president for strategic initiatives. The head of the Animal Science Department, Andrew Thulin, is serving as the interim dean during the search. The college's associate dean, Richard Calavetto, explained that some of the qualities they're looking for in a new dean include caring about the students and helping new faculty. It's been a, a change in culture on this campus, a, a shift over the last decade to more of a teacher-scholar model as part of our uh, um, retention promotion and, and uh, tenure process. So College of Agriculture, is, Food, and Environmental Sciences is putting together a faculty committee and working with search firm Isaacs and Miller to begin a, a national and international search for a new dean that will be able to serve for the next decade. There's a new way for students to connect with potential employers on campus. CollegeFeed.com is a free marketplace and career advice website that operates similar to a social media website. Students can create a resume-like profile that will either be approved or denied within 24 hours. Once students are approved, companies they expressed interest in will start contacting them. Most companies on the website specialize in technical majors, but Director of Career Services Martin Shibata hopes that will change. I want to create a new base of employers that want uh, non-technical majors, students who are in the College of Liberal Arts, students that are in the College of Science and Math. The website is mainly geared towards students ready to start a career, but Shibata encourages students of all years to apply. If you're looking to see live music tonight, the Celtic band, the Irish Rovers, are performing. You can catch them in Christopher Cohen Center at 7.30 p.m., Tickets are available online at thecalpolyarts.org. Now moving on to weather, it's going to be a high of 74, a low of 59 today. It'll be a nice and sunny day. Winds will be around 10 miles per hour, but can gust as high as 15. Thanks for watching today's Mustang News. You can find constant broadcast coverage at mustangnews.net. You can also find our weekly half-hour broadcasts on Charter Channel 19, Campus Channel 2, and UH TV Channel 7. Have a wonderful day, Cal Poly.